Now, for the Trash Talkers to give us 16 drummers, uh -huh. and then we put up polls on the community tab, and then for the Trash Talkers to narrow down those 16 yes. drummers into eight, uh -huh. these drummers in this competition are top tier. All of them phenomenal. Sophia, my best friend, yeah. <laughs> Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood 6, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke. Yeah. Diggity. Uh-huh. Dog. Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can stop you. Yeah, see if you can. So, okay. I, I'm trying to remember. See, man, y'all, this is what I do. I literally try to, I Google, what are the most obscure wrestlers? <laughs> I literally have to Google that. And he still knows them. Alright. Lou Albano. Lou, oh, everybody knows Captain Lou. No, everybody... I'm, you don't know no! Captain Lou. I don't know Captain Lou. Dude. <laughs> Tell me. And I'm a wrestling fan. Man, well, I guess Captain Lou kind of uh, his run ended in the '90s, uh, early '90s at that. He was uh, he was a wrestler back in the day, but he became a manager later in life. Hmm. That's mostly what people knew him for was being a manager in WWF. WWF or WWF? The, well, both. Yeah, he was in the WWF. Under Vince Senior before Vince Junior. Really? Mm hmm. Yeah, he was around with Freddie Blassie and all those guys, man. I don't even. Dog, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Um, so if you're afraid of. Uh, okay. You can. Uh, don't. All right. The, dang it. Why is this being so hard? Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, When you're on a height and you're really high up in the air and you're trying to look to, and you're scared of heights, you would say this to that person. Don't look down. Spread out don't. Make don't a different word. Do not look down. Do you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, before we, was that so hard? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you right down in the comment section. And to Day. This is the second contestant in the second matchup in the first round of the tournament to crown the best drummers of the 2000s. <laughs> the second contestant in the second round of the yes. That was awesome. <laughs> we are on Mr. Thomas Hawk. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's either Hawk or Hake. 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 Yeah. From the legendary Mama Sugar. Yeah, we actually looked this up, and for some reason there was a different pronunciation for a English Canadian and English American, and they were different for some reason. But it's uh, English American, it says hockey, but Canadian, it says hock. hock. I think, uh, how would, just looking at it, how would you pronounce it? Thomas Hockey. See, I would pronounce it Thomas Hock. Hock. Yeah. Y'all let us know. Yeah. What's the pr proper pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Smoke down, Meshuggah. Meshuggah. Now, we know how crazy this guy yeah. is. Oh, yeah. We know that this guy is bananas. Yeah. Now, for the Trash Talkers to give us 16 drummers, uh -huh. and then we put up polls on the community tab, and then for the Trash Talkers to narrow down those 16 drummers yes. into eight, uh -huh. these drummers in this competition are top tier. All of them phenomenal. Yes. All of them. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Earlier today... Mario Duplantier, Tom, oh listen, man, that was amazing. Thomas, you're gonna have to you have to come with it on this one, brother. Yeah, you're gonna have to because Mario did his thing. Yeah, that's gonna be tough to beat. Yeah, but who knows, man? He might pull out something just to make your jaw drop. Man, I don't know, dude. So Thomas Hogg, that's it's spelled weird. It's not T H. It it sounds like a uh, like, like Samoan or something. Really, know? I'm getting ice. I think. Or, yeah, I think yeah. of like the haka. You know, <laughs> haka, haka, you know. Yeah, do your more face. I'm, I'd like to know where he's from, man, because I'm I'm getting like a European, uh, Swedish, maybe Icelandic. Maybe so, yeah. And Thomas definitely. That's a you well, tend to see. I mean, there's a lot of Americans named Thomas too, but you know, 
uh, a lot of Europeans also. Either way, man, Meshuggah, we know they're, you know, progressive and very heavy, but what our reactions that we've done to Meshuggah, with me, it's just the drums that stuck out. Yeah, you absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the band is good overall, but oh, yeah. you definitely notice the drummer. Yeah. In, uh, in all these bands, I mean, that's why they're here in this tournament, because when you listen, you're like, how is this drummer doing that? Yeah. <laughs> Shmodo! What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it! It's just so heavy.
that was great, man. Mm -hmm. Watch it drop. That'd be awesome. <laughs> just drop back into that riding part. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. Man, that's all was riding. That bro. was fire. That's like when they got into that groove part, dude. That was fire. I could listen to that for like ten minutes. Yes. What What's interesting about? I know we're focused on Thomas here, but what's interesting about Mashuga's lead guitar? Mm -hmm. That the guitar that he plays has like a nineteen eighties sound to it. Yeah, you, think? you know what I mean, like yeah. a like a classical. Yeah, I mean he had like the chunky riffs, but yeah, when he did the solo, yeah, the yeah, pitch. I what you're saying. It's yeah. like a. Like yeah. something you'd hear on like a like oh a Kenny God. G album or something. Kenny G. <laughs> Not Kenny G. What's <laughs> <laughs> Kenny G? <laughs> I don't know about Kenny G playing too many chunky riffs, but <laughs> I'm not Kenny G. I, I don't know where I was going though. Man, oh. but no. Either way, I'm more mean, like Van Halen. or Yes, something. Yeah. like a Van Halen Iron Maiden, you yeah. know, type type vibe with it. Yeah, which I'm sure that was some of his uh, influences. Influence. Yeah. yeah, but Thomas Hawk. Uh huh. I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah. You did a phenomenal job, Thomas. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. But if I, this is why we can't vote. Be, but I can't even say that because this is just one song. Well, we're and voting. you don't. Yeah, that's the thing is yes. you don't want to sway the votes You're right. by saying You're right. that. You're right. You're right. Because you know there was no just giant drum solo in this. Right. To where he just broke down and did something phenomenal. Mm hmm. But, I mean, I think he was great for keeping perfect time for yes. that whole thing. And That's for sure. The progress yeah, you're right. I can't say that at all because it's about the body of work. Mm -hmm. And I will say our first reaction we did to Meshuggah, that right there blew me away. Yeah. And that was it was strictly because of the drums. So you're, you're yeah. right. And this was more of just like a groove riding song, you know. Just yes. Dum, 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 I could just see like Stone Cold coming out yes, to it exactly. with his arms like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I think I heard Stone Cold say that Masuga is one of his favorite no. artists. Yeah. What are the chances of that? <laughs> exactly. That's crazy that you said that. What are the chances of that, man? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but do not look down. What's you know, I, I, to to give the lead singer props as well. Like you know, we've all we've all sing, sang in the shower before. Mm -hmm. I'll get in the shower <laughs> and I try to do like vocals like this. Like, yeah. I can't do it longer than a second. Oh, I know. And it, it hurts starts my to hurt. throat. Yeah. yeah so you got to really train those vocal cords to do that. You know? I, it that man for them to get up there and do that. It's like how do y'all do that? You well, I've seen rappers who do like you know like the mystical style or something like that. See yeah, that hurt. Like that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like there's, I've uh, you know I've heard artists like actually straining and paralyzing vocal cords doing that. Maynard did that. Doing yeah. the Grudge, I think. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I think it's just training, years of training, to be able to do that for an entire set like that. Yeah, it, either that, or you're just born that way. Maybe so. Just born. I mean, like some people are put here to do certain things. Thomas Hawk was Hawk or Hockey, however you say it. He probably was just put here on this earth to be. A phenomenal drummer. Mm -hmm. That's what he was put here for. Oh, absolutely. And same goes as for the lead singer. Yeah. It's yeah. You're just put here to do that. Mm-hmm. You want to break down the rules again? Yeah, yeah. If you guys, you think that Thomas Hot is has an overall body of work better than Duplantier, mm -hmm. then you're gonna put uh, these names. <laughs> then you're gonna put a thumbs up on this video. If you think that Duplantier had a better overall body of work than Thomas Hot. Then you're gonna put a thumbs up on his video. Or both. or both. Or both. Hey, if you think they're both great, put it on both of them, man. If you can't decide, and the the winner will move on to the next round of the tournament. Absolutely. With that being said, my name's Barringer Hollywood Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. I was off beat. And we are <laughs> over and out. Deuces. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Rappers React today. If you want to see another artist that we covered, it's right over here. If you want to see the last video we did, it's right over here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do this for you. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you will. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.